We're here in Ivy Land where we've seen some of the worst damage so far in the area. The transformers are knocked down and laying on the streets and they've lost power since about 7.30 last night. What do you think of the damage that's been done here in your neighborhoods? Well, it's a shame we're an old historic borough, and as you can see, there's a number of trees that are showing their signs of age, and um, we uh, just are glad that no one is hurt from this uh, catastrophe. When do you expect Pico Cruz to be out here to turn power back on? Uh, it's still up in the air. We've been uh, notified by the Emergency uh, Management Center that we are a level two priority, um, but that could be one day, two days, three days. Uh, I understand that most of Bucks County is without power at the moment. We're right on the edge of Doylestown where we found a tree knocking down some power lines. This is a perfect example of the kind of damage that Hurricane Sandy caused in our area last night. What does this damage look like across the county today? Well, this, uh, this Category 1 hurricane ended up being a very significant storm with an awful lot of uh, countywide damage, as you indicate, from, from Bristol, which is where we are, at high tide, where uh, Council President Ralph DiGiuseppe and, um, is telling us that uh, most of the town is without power at this point, without telephones. Uh, from Bristol to Regalsville, the damage is widespread, it's significant. We actually avoided much of the much of the flooding that we typically get in a storm event and the damage, um, the widespread damage really has to do with power outages and uh, telephone and power lines down. We actually avoided much of the much of the flooding that we typically get in a storm event and the damage, um, the widespread damage really has to do with power outages. Do you have any sort of idea of how long the power is going to be out, Phil? Well, um, you know, there are certain instances already of power being restored. Um, Pico, which is the main power provider for Bucks County, they have their work cut out for them. Uh, they brought in thousands of workers from out of state, both private contractors and other utility workers. Uh, but it's going to be a methodical process. We're here in Levittown where you can see the major damage the winds from Hurricane Sandy caused in this neighborhood. This house here is the tree going right through the roof and there's crews here trying to cut down all the other trees that are laying on the sidewalks. We found some flooding here in Bristol and residents coming here to see the flooding said they hope ships don't come through to bring the water up even more. I'm Nicole Jeanette for Patch and Metro4.com.